Welcome back everybody. Some of you may already have this unit and if you do in this video you may pick up an awesome recipe or some extra tips. And if you're like me, a year ago I didn't even know this machine existed. And even more, I didn't know how much it would drastically up my prepping game. If you already know how bad it's really getting and the food shortages are real and they're gonna get super bad. So I can't stress enough on the importance of long-term food storage. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I will share with you how much money I saved in just one batch. So let me show you this prepping dream machine that could get you guys saving food for over 30 years with no refrigeration. Okay, we're into the second day. We've been running for 16 hours and it's finally in the drying stage through through the night. That's how it's looking in there. So this is gonna be pretty cool. We're doing shredded chicken that we did in the crock pot and it is super tasty. So we're loading these trays up pretty heavy. Um, if, if we can fit all trays like this, that means we're gonna come out of this with 20 pounds of chicken done. You're gonna again, make sure that your valve is shut. You're gonna hit start. It says cooling vacuum chamber. Wait 15 minutes before loading trays. Okay, let's go load trays. Look at that guys, that is 20 pounds of slow cooked chicken with seasoning already in it. It is absolutely delicious. We've shown you how to make this slow cooker chicken recipe in previous videos, and it is to die for. It's so good, and I can't believe we're about ready to stick 20 pounds into the freeze dryer. Okay, after 15 minutes, it now says load food into freeze dryer, close the drain valve, double check it, do not mix frozen with non-frozen foods. Since we don't have the tray dividers, we didn't want to stick them in the freezer. We're putting them in non-frozen. Just seems to be easier right now. I'm not sure you guys know how exciting this is, but throwing 20 pounds of slow cooked chicken in there right now getting ready to preserve it long term and know that it's going to taste great is amazing we're going to shut this door make sure you spin it all the way then we're going to hit continue now what it's going to do is it's going to go through its freezing cycle before it goes into its drying cycle don't know how long that's going to take but i'm going to let you know here in a little okay, while okay we're into the second day we've been running for 16 hours and it's finally in the drying stage through through the night. That's how it's looking in there. Little update here with the old Riverside Homestead freeze dryer. We are currently 26, almost 27 hours in. Okay, you can see that this thing has finished over the night at 36 hours. Process complete, open drain valve to vent. We're gonna open up the drain valve. As you can see, it got pretty frosty last night. Looks like there's a lot of ice buildup on the side. Definitely cold. It says it's negative 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Lousies. Check this, see if we're good. No reading whatsoever. No reading whatsoever. It is dry as dry. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the defrost button. Keep drain valve open, remove product from the dryer and close the door and hit continue. Done. 
each tray is about five pounds. So we're gonna cut this in half, then we're gonna cut it into quarters. That way we're dividing up the five pounds by four packages. Slide that right in there. Grab an oxygen absorber, pop it in there. Okay, so on this guy, we're simply gonna set this at seven for Mylar bags. Place it right here. There's a light right over here, an indicator. Tells you when you're done. Looks just like that. We're gonna go ahead and throw a second on there. Just like so. Just like that, you wanna make sure that you do your couple of seals above this little tear spot right here. That way, when you're out in the field or whatever, you just right there and you're ready to go. If you're planning on using a knife, then you can go ahead and do it anywhere down here. I'm not sure if you understand how tickled pink I am about processing 20 pounds of slow cooked chicken. That should be amazing. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video. I'm gonna give it a try and show you guys and tell you guys just how it tastes. Here's another thing to think about. I was at the store the other day. Do you realize these things cost between 12 to 16 bucks a piece? And we just made 16 of them with a high-end recipe. So it should be worth a lot more because we know that this recipe is amazing. And a lot of times when it comes to freeze drying foods, the food is about as good as you make it. So if you are a chef and can put together something really tasty, then that's where your expectations should lie. So you can see how that could add up. So you go to a store and pick up, say one of these things between 12 and 16 bucks a piece. That means I just made about $200 worth of those. And that's just one batch.